Before I start this video, I'd like to say I am a completely 100% behind legal purchase of music and ringtones supporting the artist, stuff like that. However, Verizon has gotten out of control, as I'm sure many mobile carriers have, with their charges for just about everything, including ringtones. And recently I have had that service shut off on my phone. Uh, ridiculous charges for data just for looking at the ringtones, not even purchasing them, not to mention three, four dollars for one ringtone. So it's gotten out of control. And I have found a way where you can record your own music, uh, YouTube videos, things like that, get the portion, send it to your phone. This may work with other carriers, I'm not sure, I just know it works with Verizon and more recent Verizon phones that have a save as ringtone feature with sounds that you may receive. So first off, you're going to need a software called Wiretap Studio. And essentially what Wiretap Studio does is it will record the system audio from your Mac computer um, and save it as a file that you can then edit um, and save in other formats and whatnot. So basically, we have an option to do all Mac audio from, and then from any of our running applications. This one's going to be iTunes, um, and it will record just the iTunes music. So essentially, I'm going to find the music that I want. I will do Right Round by Flow Rider. Okay, so we know the chorus starts at 7 seconds. Gonna hit record. Play the music. Then we can press stop right there. That did not record any of the background audio that just recorded from iTunes, which is why I love Wiretap Studio. By the way, Wiretap Studio is about $70, um, I'll give you a link in the sidebar. I believe there is a trial period though, so you can take advantage of that and send all the ringtones that you need. So after we have our portion recorded, switch over to Wiretap Studio, and here is our recording right here. So we find out, okay, there's where we started recording. Do a nice little fade in here if you want to. And go to the end, see where we are. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna go to File, Save, uh, Window, Library. There we go. So from your library, we have iTunes Recording 1. Make sure that's the right one. Yep. So from there we can go to email, and essentially this is how I know it works for Verizon is you go, you type in your number, so we'll just say 555-555-1234, and then you can do at vzwpix.com. Now this is normally if you have a PixPlace account, which I recommend you get, and you can back up all your pictures and contacts on the Verizon website, on the Verizon server. Um, but I believe this will work whether you have a PixPlace account or not. So subject, we'll just say right round flow rider. And you can actually rename this recording if you want to, uh, just for the sake of time, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and not do that. Send. And what it'll do is it'll open up your mail client right now, which mine happens to be a uh, mail. And it'll have your number, have your thing, and your sound file right there. And essentially click send, and you will get a message on your phone with the sound, at which point you can uh, choose to save it as a ringtone, which works very well. So now what if I wanted to record audio from a YouTube video and save it as my ringtone? So I have uh, this video right here. 
one of my personal favorite videos of mine. You guys should uh, check it out if you want to. It's a very uh, entertaining, I think. Choose Firefox from your drop down menu. From there, we can hit record, hit our play button. Okay, so uh, a very funny video, I guess. So here's your stop button, and you hold this up. This one, you can drag these in, you can kind of visualize and see where the audio starts and stops. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go to File and Save. And from there, Command 1 will open up your library, so window library. And it's Firefox recording, I'm gonna rename that license plate. And again, our email feature has our numbers still pulled up here. And we're gonna send this as license plate. And of course hit send. And we'll open up your mail client, and at which point you can choose more recipients if you want, you know, whatever. Um, very simple method to create and send your own ringtones from uh, music that you've purchased, music from YouTube, uh, videos from YouTube, anything else like that. And it works great, I have not had any problems with it whatsoever so far, and uh, since Verizon recently shut down mixer tones, I guess it's probably the best method of getting these ringtones. So, um, if you liked this, if I helped you out, um, you can go ahead and subscribe, uh, whatever, you know. Check out my other videos, and uh, comment, rate, whatever you want to do. I hope you, I helped you guys out, because uh, I was very delighted to figure this method out myself. Uh, again, the link for Wiretap Studio should be in the sidebar. If not, uh, make sure you guys remind me in the comments and I'll get that fixed for you. Um, I think there's a 30-day trial period, so you will be able to make your own ringtones for a month or so. And uh, if not, I recommend buying the software. It's very nice. It's very useful software. Um, I guarantee you one day a uh, project's going to come along where you want to record system audio on your, on your computer and you're not going to be able to do it. And you're going to say, why, don't, why doesn't Mac OS X have this simple functionality? Well, here it is. I'm not sure if a version's available for Windows. Um, again, the link's going to be in the sidebar so you can check that out yourself. But this is how I do it. This is how you do it on Mac. So... Uh, again, any questions, sidebar, I would love to help you out, so thank you guys.